In this paper, we consider structured light 3D scanning outdoors, where there is strong ambient illumination due to sunlight. This is the plot of sunlight intensity over a typical day. This is the intensity range of current structured light sources. Structured light is often two to five orders of magnitude weaker than sunlight. Here is an object placed outdoors. Top right is the sky image taken with a fisheye lens. A small 3D scanner was used to recover its shape at different time points. Because structured light is too weak to compete with sunlight, the result quality degrades severely as sunlight increases. In this paper, we show that it is possible to overcome sunlight by efficiently redistributing the light of the structured light source. Conventional projectors spread the available light over the entire image plane. Each scene point receives small intensity. Our idea is to increase the intensity by concentrating the light in a smaller region. To cover the entire scene, we illuminate different regions sequentially. We call this the Concentrate and Scan Scheme. Existing methods either spread the light over the entire image plane or concentrate the light into a single column. As a result, they either achieve low quality results or require long acquisition time. In contrast, we exploit the entire range of light redistribution. We show that by concentrating the light appropriately, it is possible to achieve high quality results in a very limited time and power budget. Given a required accuracy level, the proposed method is 10 to 100 times faster than existing schemes in nearly all real outdoor illumination levels. Since current light sources have a fixed light distribution, we build a prototype light source that supports flexible light distribution. It is implemented by varying the scanning speed of a laser scanner. Here is an example of three different light distributions on a planar scene. All the images were acquired with the same camera exposure time. The intensities are plotted along the marked scan line. From left to right, the illuminated area decreases, but the intensity increases. Let's look at some experimental results. This is a clay pot placed outdoors on a clear day at 11 a.m. Here are the captured images. The entire scene is divided into four blocks, which are scanned sequentially. These are the recovered shapes. The spread-based method achieves a low SNR, resulting in holes in the recovered shapes. The single-line striping has to use very thick stripes due to a small time budget. The low-resolution result loses all surface details and has holes at the boundary discontinuities. In contrast, given the same time and power budget, the proposed method achieves high-quality results. Now we show a comparison of all the methods at different times during a day. As sunlight increases, our method adapts to the varying ambient illumination level and consistently produces high quality results. Let's look at the time lapse sequence again. Finally, we show three examples of outdoor scenes in strong sunlight. The first is an example of a bronze statue captured at 10 a.m. The second is an example of a marble statue captured at 12 p.m. The last is an example of a church building captured at 1 p.m. In all cases, our method achieves highly detailed 3D structures. In summary, this paper opens light distribution as a new dimension in the design of structured light systems. We believe that our approach will enable fast and accurate 3D scanning for outdoor scenarios with a very limited power budget.